Okay guys, so for this video, we will talk to you about some of the undervalued Solana NFTs that you can earn 10 times what you invest. This NFT is known as Age of Sam and it has been around for a while. They have many utilities, including a play-to-earn game and a hold-to-earn utility, where you can earn by holding on to one of their NFTs. But what's all the excitement about this NFT? As I mentioned, this NFT has been around for a while. It was launched towards the end of 2021 and has been doing quite well, given that it has a floor price of 1.3 sol. The average sale is also higher than the floor price, which can only mean good business. There is also a decent volume of more than 1,000 Solana and a low listing. Low listing only means that more and more people are actually going for it, which is good. The NFT itself has a nice design, and they are all unique. All the characters, which are the Sams, all have a nice design with each standing out. Before we can even go through their tokenomics, let's first take a look at the website. On the website's homepage, you get a little sneak peek of what they are working on. Right in the middle, they describe it as, a game of cunning strategy and survival in the battle for economic dominance on the dark side of the moon. When you navigate to the About page, you will learn more about the NFT with more of an introduction. Worth noting from this page is that the project has a supply of 4,444 SAMs. And out of all these, there are less than 100 listed, which is pretty impressive. From the About page, you actually learn that each of the SAMs is machine-generated and there are no two that look alike. This means that each NFT is unique in its own way. In addition, the holders of these NFTs can play with them in a sci-fi epic play to earn points for an adventure game they will be releasing. As with most NFT projects, they must have their own currency, and for the Age of Sam, it is known as Solarium. So what is it all about? This is the basic utility and governance token, which means it will be the native token for this project. There are various ways of earning it, such as staking your NFT on something they refer to as the Weekly Moon Mission, earning it directly in the play-to-earn game, or some other ways in the project. From the tokenomics page, you will realize that the Solarium token has a supply of 200 billion. 25% of this 200 billion will be spent on the play-to-earn game, 15% on staking rewards, 20% on the founding team, 20% on operations, 10% on treasury, 9.5% on marketing, and finally, 0.5% will be airdropped to SAM NFT holders. Since it is in the early stages of the play-to-earn games, we cannot tell whether it is sustainable. However, the project is very promising, and it seems as though the founders know exactly what they are doing with the project. The next project that has been undervalued for some time is Vandals. This is an NFT that has recently been renamed, previously known as Vandal City. Since they changed their name, there have been a lot of changes compared to when it was first introduced. The floor price is the first thing that you will notice has changed, and it now sits at about 7.7 sol. This is an increase because the floor price was at 3 sol when they were still fresh. However, this is nothing compared to their all-time high of 12 sol. This is kind of insane, given that they have a supply of about 10,000 in the market. These could actually be the ones to change the entire game, and this is why. They are currently working on an entire art upgrade and the new art has not yet been revealed to the public. Their Twitter banner shows only a sneak peek of what the new art will look like. This extends to their Twitter feed as well. The way they are doing their art upgrade is pretty interesting. They have this thing called the gutter. All you have to do is take your original version of the Vandal, whether it is one you have had since day one or the one you bought along the way, and throw it into the gutter along with 500 of their tokens. This means that you are giving up your metadata as well as spending the vault, but it is for a good cause. Once you do that, you are given an outline with a level number. It may seem like nothing at the moment, but it has more value than you think. This is basically the new art that they are working on, and since they have not yet revealed it, you get a frame where it will come in. In addition to that, these empty frames of NFTs are earning you more vaults per day compared to a regular vandal. A regular vandal basically earns you about 12 vaults per day, while an upgraded one earns you about 18 vaults per day. If you feel you do not want to be a part of this, you can sell these frames. Given that they are an upgraded art form, they also go for a higher price. For example, a level 8 NFT has a floor price of 20 sol, which is definitely more than the floor price of the original vandals. 
You can look at the floor price of whatever gutted vandal, which is the upgraded vandals, but it ranges around 9.22 sol. This places the floor price of a gutted vandal higher than that of the original vandal, with a difference of about 1.5 sol. Everyone who follows this NFT is excited to find out what the new art will look like, but to see that, we are going to have to wait a little longer. Another NFT is known as the Infected Mob, and it just might be the next big thing. This unique project uses a similar approach to the Gothic degens. It has a current floor price of 3.89 Solana, with a total supply of 7,800. Their art is pretty awesome, too. I mean, it is unlike any other art that you will find on the NFT market. So what do they do? Well, they live up to their name and infect other collections on the Solana blockchain. This is a creative way to collaborate with other projects and develop infected versions of their art. They then put the newly formed art in their derivative collection. They have succeeded in doing that with one project, Infected Jungle, their collaboration with primates. The floor price for these infected primates currently sits at 18 Solana. But why is it that the floor price is double that of the actual primates' floor price? This is mainly because the infected mob is working on something bigger. Infected Mob is aiming to collaborate with one of the largest collections on the Solana market, and that is the Degods. They might just come up with the Infected Degods, which we can guess will be pretty awesome. I mean, have you seen what they have done with the Infected Jungle? You can guarantee an airdrop of this collaboration by ensuring that you have one Infected Mob and three Infected Jungle. That is why the floor price is high, because it is currently in demand. What the Infected Mob is doing is pretty unique, going for the other collections on the Solana NFT market. The people behind these NFTs are constantly updating their community on their Discord channel, so make sure you keep an eye out for this. These are just some of the NFTs that have been undervalued, but they will definitely rise to the challenge and leave everyone shocked. So which one do you think has the greatest potential? Greatest